I'm recording this in the morning before work. I think it's the earliest I've recorded one of these. And there are three people in this house still in bed. So they might um, have a word with me later saying I shouldn't have done this. But that's okay. They'll probably beat me up because two of them are girls. Anyway, welcome to this video, which is where we go through the 5% game. The idea is you follow my instructions and then you should finish in the top 5% globally and you'll do all right in your league. So let's get on with it and see how we did in game week five. And then we look at game week six suggestions. Starting with the bankers, there's six players that you're all going to have. As Cancelo got 12 points. Trent got two, Jesus got six, Martinelli got ten, Salah ten, Haaland seventeen. Haaland had the captain's hat. Haaland got 34 because of that. So in total, well, the range is the minimum score was two for one of these players, maximum 34. They averaged 12.3. So the bankers got 74 points. Our target is 35 for the bankers. So we did all right this week on those. Your goalkeeper would have only got two points. Defender choice number one was between Trippier, Walker, Zinchenko or Dunk. Zinchenko didn't play. Your first player on the bench would have been Andreas. So you would have got a minimum of minus one and maximum of six from the defender choice and the average of 2.75. Defender number two was between James and Diaz, but James didn't play. So he disappears and... You would have come in Williams or Patterson unless you didn't have Zinchenko and then you would have had Andreas coming in. So though I've only put Williams or Patterson in here, you could have actually had a six here depending on which players you actually had. But we'll stick with this for now because this is the worst case scenario. So you, your minimum was minus one, the maximum was six, the average was three. Midfielder number one was between Diaz, Saka, Foden, Kulusevski, none of them had a great week. So you would have got between 2 and 5 for this, averaging 3.25. Midfielder number 2, this is the cheap midfielder. You would have had one of these playing. Rodrigo for 1, Harrison for 2, Gross for 2, Aronson for 5, Neto for 3. So the worst you'd have done was 1, the best was 5, the average would have been 2.6. So overall, your team, you would have got a minimum of 77. The average was 87.6. The maximum was 99. But of course, if you didn't have Zinchenko, but you did have James, your maximum could have actually been 105. Now, transfers for game week one. Unfortunately, Rodrigo went off injured after quite a short time, really. So if you have Rodrigo, let's move him on. You've got a choice of five. I don't mind which one you get. Rashford, if you could afford Rodrigo, you could afford Rashford. Or Harrison from Leeds. Or Gross. Or Aronson. Or Neto. Now don't necessarily rush for Rashford because you think he's the best player. And he probably is. Because we're going to wildcard before too long. And one of the others could do well. If you have one of the others and you can afford to switch to Rashford and you particularly like Man United, you could do that. It really doesn't matter which one of these you have. The idea is whichever one you have, you'll be holding for a while. And over the course of a few weeks, they should do okay. Now, all we need to do is sort the bench out. If we get the bench right, the other 11 players sort themselves out. So we have Ward as the goalkeeper. Your last position on the bench is between Archer and Taylor. Positions one and two, so two being the middle position. If you have Patterson, put him in there. And the next player on the bench is Andreas. So if you have Patterson on the bench, you will have... Yeah, if you have Patterson, then on the bench you have Andreas and Patterson. If you don't have Patterson, then your first position on the bench would be Williams and the second position would be Andreas. So two of these three you should have in your team and they'll be on the bench. Captain choice is really difficult. Obviously between Salah and Haaland, as always. Haaland's been brilliant recently. But there's a chance he's going to get rested a lot more than Salah will get rested. Salah, or rather Liverpool, are away to Everton. But when you get these derby games, the differences between the two teams always seems to get flattened. And so it could easily be a 1-1. Obviously Liverpool could trash them. Everton could win 1-0. Haaland, I believe they're away to Aston Villa. So if we knew Haaland was playing the full 90, I'd say captain him. 
but his minutes may be massively reduced. So I'm suggesting this week we go with Salah, which means, oh, that's the old hat business. The old mule hat. Salah gets the old mule hat. Harlan gets the vice captain hat. Hopefully that all made sense and you're enjoying doing this 5% game. I will be wildcarding before too long, which means if you're not in this at the moment, you can join in at that point. And I'll pitch the wild card such that if you've only got 99 million, you can still play because the Ranger players will allow you to do that. Hopefully you're enjoying doing this and you're doing moderately well in your mini leagues. Feel free to leave comments saying that you're doing all right. Thanks. Bye.